Hey, it was good. So this is my Extreme Rules review. So just a heads up to anyone watching. Um, I am doing this review as a casual viewer, as a casual fan. I don't watch Raw. I haven't watched um, WWE since WrestleMania. Though I do follow um, the reviews of a few people here on YouTube, like the Schleg Daddy from um, OTRS Central and the Lexman, to name a few, right? So now that I get that out of the way, I just say that so because I'll be maybe asking a few questions that because I don't understand everything that's going on. So anyway, let's get it started. Um, first match of the card was Dean Ambrose versus. Luke Harper? I think it's Luke Harper. I really can't. <laughs> I really don't know who's who between the, the ones that were in the White family, but uh, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. But I think this guy's Luke, Luke Harper. I apologize if I'm wrong. Uh, this was an all right match. You know, it was a street fight. This is what street fights do. It had a candlesticks, steel chairs. Yeah, it, it it was good. It I mean, I mean it was good. <laughs> How many times I have to say that? But oh man, so they, they it's like a brawling type match. Um, pretty um hard, you know, like a hard hitting match. Both of these guys are like hard, tough guys. Hard hitting match. A lot of like um stiff clotheslines and st of the stuff of the the same. You know, just hard like. like so like that stiff style, you know. <clears throat> but it it was after a while that they they went to the back and they were brawling in the back. You know, it's a street fight, so you gotta use everything, gotta make it interesting. So they got all the way in the back, <laughs> and Luke Harper gets into a car. It's like a, a SUV navigator looking type of car, and. He gets in the car, turns it on, and, and Dean Ambrose tries to get in, and he closes the door on him, but the window's still open, so Dean Ambrose jumps in, just like, dives through the window, and, and Luke Harper just drives off. And he didn't come, they didn't come back till like, 20 minutes later in another segment, where it was the New Day having a promo, and they didn't come back till that, and the, the car crashed into the, the stage in the back, and you had Eric, you had now it was Dean Ambrose driving and Eric Rowan was in the passenger. He got out like all stumbling and Dean, Am um, he, Luke Harper went like close to the new day and, and Dean Ambrose, um, dived over the SUV onto the new day and Luke Harper. So they went into the middle of the ring, threw like a million chairs into the ring and, uh, Luke Harper tried to finish Dean Ambrose by throwing all these chairs on top of him and going on the top rope, but Dean Ambrose got up through through um through Luke Harper <laughs> onto these chairs and to win the match. So it was a good match. I mean it was that that part made it a little interesting, but eh, it was okay. It was okay. Not the match of the night. Next match was Sheamus versus Ziggler and my kiss my arse match and um as you knew as you knew that this match was gonna be okay because Ziggler and Sheamus are good wrestlers they usually give good matches and it was a good match it was um the Ziggler Ziggler beats Sheamus in a roll-up with the roll-up I mean it was a small package and so they, oh man it was terrible at the, after like they spent like five minutes teasing if Sheamus was going to kiss Ziggler's arse. And there's always this like, you know, homosexual undertones in wrestling. And that's part of the, that's one of the reasons that ah, I kind of turns me off off wrestling, man. The, these undertones kiss my ass. I don't want to see a grown man kiss another grown man's ass or the fact that they're wrestling in tight, you know, um, um, choreographed fighting and all that, but that's it is what it is. But anyway, so so Sheamus was 
honest knees. <laughs> oh man! And he was you. We thought that he was gonna kiss Ziggler's arse, but he gives him a low blow and hits him with a bro kick, and he puts Ziggler's ass in onto his face. So probably the feud's gonna continue between them. Next match. This was the match of the night. New Day versus Cesaro and Tyson Kidd for the tag team championships. Really good match. The first thing that I know that I thought into my head once this match developed and turned into a good match. This was match of the night. I said I'm saying it again. But the first thing I thought was these guys should be in main event. These guys should be in the main event scene. If not like for the championship, they should be way higher in the card. Cesaro should be getting title shots. Biggie should be getting shadow shots. Kofi should have already been a, a world champion at least once or twice. At least the heavy, at least he should have won the heavyweight title a few times, man. Come on, this had a, some really good spots like um, Cesaro catching Biggie in midair. Midair, man, that guy's so strong, so strong, so talented. As is Biggie, of course. He speared him. Um, Tyson Kidd threw the ropes to onto the outside. This was a really good match. Very like you you thought it was very even. You know what I mean? Like that's what you're supposed to believe. You know, this is an even matchup, and it was throughout. It was very entertaining, very watchable. Um, the New Day wins. What's his name? I think it was. Yeah, the the New Day wins by a roll up. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kofi Kingston rolls up Cesaro, grabs the tights, wins wins the match, and yeah, new tag team champions. They turn this crappy gimmick and they're getting over with the fans as heels. They're getting over as heels. Whether you like the gimmick or not, they're getting over. They're getting boos, and that's what heels are supposed to do. You wanted to like them. But they, they were babyface, everybody hated them, so they turned he heels, and now everybody still hates them. That's how it works. That's how it's supposed to be. Very good match, uh, and I hope they could get some good feuds on in the tag team division. Please, WWE, please, some good feuds in the, in the tag team divisions against the Usos and rematches with these guys, man. Please, I, I'm not, I don't know if the Lucha Dragons are still, are still in, on WWE. If they didn't go back to NXT, someone please tell me. Um, that Divas match, uh, Nikki Bella beats beats Naomi. The the best thing about this match was Naomi's shoes, which changed colors. Yeah, that tells you that much. Um, next match was actually pretty good. Uh, the Big Show versus Roman Reigns and um Aaron Riff from No DQ. C A C A W. It was calling this match a last fan standing match. But it was really good. It had some really good spots like Big Show choke slamming Roman Reigns through two tables from outside of the ropes. I mean from from on top of the ring to the to the floor. And um Roman Reigns spearing Big Show through the barricade. This match ended when this match ended with Big Show, with um, Roman Reigns spearing Big Show through from one announce table through another announce table, like over the another announce table. Very very good match. It was it was a way better than expected. It was good, it, <laughs> entertaining. It was entertaining for what it was. You know, you expected this match to be a snoozer, to suck, but it, it was a very entertaining match. <laughs> Not for the main event. Um, still, wait, wait, wait. Bo Dallas came out like, oh, making fun of the Chicago crowd and all this. I like him. I like Bo Dallas. He he gave a really good promo, man. He gave, that was a really good promo he gave, talking about how the Chicago crowd sucked because they were cheering him. They were when he came out, and he will. <laughs> then he said. How, how they sucked how they, they started booing him and but but then you hear the feed me more from Ryback Ryback came out um, beat him up hit him with that I really never learned the name of his move 
Hit him with this move. I don't know what I don't know what it is. I don't know. But I believe. I believe. I like him. He he sold me tonight. He sold me tonight. I like him. I like Bo Dallas. Uh, for the main event, uh, Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins in a steel cage. Randy Orton can use it. Okay, there's a twist. The RKO is banned. The RKO is banned. So it was a it was an okay match going on, but. It was a steel cage, so no one can interfere. But surprise, surprise, there's interference. Um, J&J security tries to get into the ring, and um, they're just climbing the fence. So Randy Orton throws Seth Rollins to both sides of the fence, and then they're practically dead for the rest of the match. Then, um, no, this, then you have... Of course, Kane's the moder- moderator. Kane's still getting Kane and Big Show are <laughs> Kane and Big Show are still the biggest stars in the company in 2015, man. Kane and the Big Show, but Randy Orton tries to get out, but Kane wouldn't let him. Kane wouldn't. Uh, Kane like was holding the door so he couldn't get out. So then Seth Rollins goes for a drop kick on on Randy Orton, and he ducks out of the way. He hits the door, hits. Hits um Kane, so Kane gets up all pissed, goes into the ring. J and J get into the ring. He choke slams both of them. Then he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna choke slam Seth Rollins," and then he, he turns to Randy. Oh no, I'm gonna choke slam uh, Randy Orton. Then he choke slams Randy Orton. Then he choke slams Seth Rollins. <sighs> they both get up, and Kane gets back into the ring. Tries to choke slam Randy Orton again. He hits Randy Orton with an RKO. I mean, he hits Kane with an RKO. But here's the twist. Here's the twist, right? He turns around. And Seth Rollins hits Randy Orton with an RKO. And runs through the door. So Seth Rollins escapes with another victory. As a heels champion should do. So he wins. He wins the match. But then the announcers are like. Jerry Lawler is like. Wait, the RKO was banned. The RKO is banned. And that, that would go for Randy Orton, of course. Like, oh, Randy Orton can't use the RKO. But they didn't say Randy Orton can't use the RKO. They said the RKO is banned. So, oh, I didn't even talk about Cena. Uh, Cena won. He demand, uh, Rusev demanded a rematch. He's going to get an I quit match at payback. So... <laughs> You know how, how that's going to play out. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, Cena won. They're going to have a fourth match. I pay back. I quit match. So he's going to completely squash him now. So, yeah, th- this pay-per-view ended with a cliffhanger. Which is okay for like a, you know, a filler pay-per-view like Extreme Rules, but... Yeah, this was really not a good show, man. This was not a good show. I would probably give it a 5 out of 10. Do I regret watching it? Sort of. Uh, I think a nap would have served me better. So, yeah. Uh, I, I, I'll probably keep doing this maybe one or more or two times for the just the pay-per-views. I mean, I don't watch Raw, but I see enough of you guys' reviews to know that it's not quality. <laughs> it's not it's not a good show and this was not a good show either. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, I give it a five out of ten. Uh what are your thoughts on Extreme Rules? Did you watch it? Do you regret watching this? Alright. Please comment your thoughts and please subscribe to my channels. Peace.